uh, nini aje? At a time like this last year, John Omondi had begun a process to uplift the status of his family. All was going according to plan until his employment as a hotelier was halted in December last year. Nilijua pengine maisha yanaweza kuja kuwa tough kazi kikuishia kuna wakati unarudi chini lakini si kuweza expect inaweza fika ita time yenye mpaka unafungiwa mahali as in wezi travel kwa jumla sababu tunajiunga kazi kikatika wapi unakimbilianga ni nyumbani even though John was still a casual laborer he was due to resume in March this year but that was never to be the coronavirus pandemic disrupted businesses leading to full scale layoffs John is now walking a tightrope having exhausted all his savings his dependents are also feeling the heat wazazi walikuwa na je wanakutegemea like a after one month ama maybe like a week even watumia kitu na support lakini vitu zote zimesimama some of my siblings walikuwa na depend kwangu like our last born mimi ndio nilikuwa namfunza kwa maseno out of formal employment and with no steady income john still has a task to cater for his family's needs it is for that reason that he has embarked on selling fruits and vegetables to earn a living instead of just eating these things in the house uh, we can make a small kiosk a shop uh, we will sell them and then the remaining we can eat so dire is the situation that the government projects a gloomy outlook for the labor market for the rest of the year. Our biggest employer in terms of sector is wholesale, retail, hotels and accommodation sector, employing approximately 9 million people. And listening to ILO, approximately 59.8% will lose their jobs. Last month the government approved tax relief measures to cushion Kenyans against the effects of COVID-19. They included a 100% tax waiver for employees earning 24,000 shillings and below and reduction of turnover tax for SMEs from 3 to 1%. But economists reckon this is not enough as they challenge the government to focus on measures that will save companies from total collapse. At least from where I sit the only way out of this crisis is that now we have to start thinking of the stimulus package so government has to think of ways of cushioning um, different businesses so that they won't, that way they are able to keep their staff whether on, on full salary or half salary but it must also make sure that um, businesses can not only be protected but the employees can also be protected in the process Until then John and other Kenyans struggling with unemployment hope for the situation to improve even as uncertainty looms over what lies ahead after COVID-19 Denis Otieno Citizen TV